Today we will be developing black and white film using the bathroom as the dark room and some simple kitchen utensils as the lab equipment. First you're going to need your developing chemical, a measuring cup, a thermometer, a container for your stop bath solution, a container for your fixing solution, some form of rinse aid, we'll be using photo flow, this prevents you from getting water spots on the negatives, a daylight developing tank and a timer. Firstly we need to get the water up to temperature to mix the developer. You can use 20 degrees, which takes longer to develop but gives a finer grain, or you can use 24 degrees, which gives a quicker developing time at the expense of the harsher grain. Now we're putting 200 ml of water into the measuring cup, then we will add 50 ml of the Ilford Ilfotec EDX developer. The nice thing about the Ilford chemicals is that Ilford provides comprehensive tables showing the development times the most popular films at most popular speeds for push, pull and native ISOs as well as their development times at 20 and 24 degrees. Now that we've set the timer in accordance with the times given in the open tables, we will add in the developer. On goes the cap, and now we will agitate the film by inverting the tank six times before tapping it firmly on the bench to knock off all the air bubbles. When developing black and white film, it is a one minute gap between agitations. So we've sped up the process here. In between each agitation there is plenty of time to do some clean up or drink beer. The Ilford developer is a single shot type developer, so once the developing time has elapsed, we're going to be pouring out the chemical into the sink, and then we will add in the stop bath. The stop bath stops the development process. With the stop bath, I've found that with Ilford films, 30 seconds is enough time. Uh, with the Kodak films like T-Max, or Mammographies Lady Grey and Earl Grey, you might want to stop it for up to three minutes, otherwise, you get a strange pinkish, purplish, magenta tint over all of the negatives. Now that our developing time is almost up, we can start pouring out the developer. You should try and time this so the bell in your timer goes off right about the time the last drops of chemical have come out of the tank. Now we can add in the stop bar. Put the cap on, agitate the tank to ensure even coverage of the entire film, and then we'll bang it on the bench firmly to knock off any air bubbles. While the film's soaking in the stop bath, we can get the fixer ready. And we just 
pour the stop bath back into its container. The stop bath can be reused a number of times. Now we add in the fixer and then we will wind up the timer for three minutes. The tilt the films, I find that three minutes is enough time for the fixing process. But again, if you're using Kodak T-Max films or the Lomography Black and White, Lady Grey or Earl Grey, you might want to fix them for up to six minutes to get rid of that magenta tinge. As before, the agitation period will be every minute. You agitate by inverting the tank four times and then banging it firmly against the counter to knock the air bubbles off the valve. Now that the time is up, we pour the fixed bath back into its container and then we can start with the final rinse process. Turn the tap on. Try and have the temperature of the water coming out of the tap to be roughly the same as the developing temperature. So if you use 20 degrees, aim for 20 degrees. If you use 24 degrees, use 24 degrees. Fill the tank, invert it five times, dump it. Refill the tank, invert it ten times, and dump it. And then refill the tank a final time and invert it 20 times before dumping it. Now we'll be adding the photo flow for a final rinse. I like to dip my finger into the photo flow and then let the water run over my finger into the top of the developing tank. Now we remove the top of the tank, pour the water over our hand, which is important for the next stage when we will be squeegeeing. Now we can remove the film from the spool and you can see that the negatives have turned out. Now we hang the film up to dry. My film hangers are simply bulldog clips hanging off bits of string. And by sandwiching the film between my fingers, I can squeegee it. This is why it's important to moisten them when you're removing the film from the tank.